Hello and welcome back to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. So this is the continuation of the previous tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we talked about how to find given graph is a strongly connected graph or a weakly connected graph using DFS algorithm. And to find the strongly connected graph and weakly connected graph, we used this algorithm. So today let's write the program. So here we have our program. This is for directed graph. Okay add node add edge dfs function visited set graph add node function add edge function so we are representing this graph let's follow the steps of that algorithm the first step is you need to run dfs function i'll take a as the starting node you can take any node okay it is okay we need to run dfs function and we'll get the visited nodes in the visited set and after executing the DFS function, I need to check whether all the nodes of the graph is present in the visited set. For that, I need to use this. And I already explained about this. So I won't explain it again. What we are doing here, we are checking for every node, whether that node is present in the visited set. If I, I represent node here, not in visited if any node is not present in the visited set then that means given graph is actually a weakly connected graph so just print this message weakly connected graph all right we'll print this message after that what we'll do we'll use break statement okay so we are done just use break statement and come out of the loop else here two possibilities are there one is if nodes are not present in the visited set then that is a weakly connected graph it will execute this and break statement we are done what if all the nodes are present in the visited set then we need to include else part here this is for for loop and here we need to go to the second step what is that we need to reverse the direction of every edge in the graph and we need to run the dfs again on that graph Okay, so for that, what I'll do is for the second step, I'll create another graph. You can take graph name as graph one or you can take any name. Okay, create another graph dictionary. The name is graph one and I'll create another visited set also. Visited one, I'll give name as visited one. Why? That is because as I said, we need to reverse the direction of every edge so we'll get a new graph to store that we are taking another dictionary and we need to apply dfs function on that graph right after that we'll get visited nodes to store that we need another visited set so create another graph and create another visited set next as i said we need to change the direction of every edge in the graph for that we need to go to add edge here and here when there is an edge from v1 to v2 what i need to do is in the graph one that is the second graph you need to take v2 append v1 if there is an edge from v1 to v2 in the graph we need to reverse that edge so we need to take v2 to v1 in the graph one the new graph all right simple right here also you need to add nodes to the graph right so that's why here when we add node to graph you need to add that node to graph one also this is to to change the direction of every edge of the graph okay so now we have graph and graph one in the graph we have actual graph in the graph one we have the graph where direction of every edge is reversed all right now here what we need to do in the second step we need to run the dfs on the graph one here take the same starting node okay and here visited one and here graph one okay it will call dfs function here here visited becomes visited one graph becomes graph one so it will run the dfs function here all right so after that after executing this function call we'll get visited set right visited uh, one in that we'll get the nodes which are visited so now what i need to check is if visited is equal to equal to visited one 
remember here this part will execute only when all the nodes are present in the visited set all the nodes are visited in the first dfs function that's why i'll check here whether visited is equal to visited one if both are equal that means all the nodes are visited right all the nodes of the graphs are visited so i'll print it is strongly connected graph if not if it is not equal then that is actually weakly connected graph okay so we are done so what we did first we applied dfs function on the actual given graph we'll check whether all the nodes are visited if it is not okay if few nodes are not visited then that is a weakly connected graph we'll print this message and we are done but if all the nodes are visited in the first dfs function call then we need to go to the else part and we need to reverse the direction of every edge in the graph then we need to apply dfs function on that graph and we'll get visited one set there and we need to compare visited and visited one if both are equal that means all the nodes are visited right so that is a strongly connected graph else it is a weakly connected graph okay actually this graph is weakly connected graph here you can see this example so let's execute this now and we'll see whether we'll get correct output or not here we can see we are getting the correct output weakly connected graph it is a weakly connected graph now just copy this okay and here i have another example and it is actually strongly connected graph it is a strongly connected graph we are representing this graph okay just paste this code okay then here just create visited one graph one here graph 1 v2 append v1 correct right okay done let's execute this now save and execute it is a strongly connected graph and it is correct it is a strongly connected graph so how to find whether a given graph is strongly connected and weakly connected graph here we have algorithm you can follow that okay this is one of the way so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care